You ready? You ready, Yarnell? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Anytime you are set. Canterbury is the only one that won the bank heist. Right. I must have run a bit with the Shatari technique the other day and uh, stumbled upon this technique of doing things. It's exactly the same as Shatari's tech. The only difference is I'm using squares instead of spheres to uh, delete out the circle. It does, it gives me really cool stuff. Like a circle. Now, is there a certain depth or anything that you need to put this in? Yeah, I've, um, I've been trying to mess around with it, and by the looks of it, you can only go like one or two down for it to actually work. I haven't, uh, I've got to do some more experimenting on this. Okay. 15 as a block it is. And somebody said one. that you can only do this on odd numbers. Um, no, I've actually done it on um, evens. These here, these ones here, these are even numbers, these blocks. Okay. And these are the shapes you get out of it. And they're slightly different as well. If you look inside, um, you could almost use the whole entire thing. They come up with a really cool underneath as well. Let okay. me give you uh, flight perms, Timmer. Give us a sec. Logging in my ult to get your perms. What this one of my characters is logging in basically the difference between the uh, normal ring set that Shatari has and with these is that they do not deform the other shapes, the other sizes you have. So you can stack them like I've done over here, and there is no deforming whatsoever. Normally if you stacked like a smaller one, like if I go over to these here and I take this one over here. Uh, let me take that one for instance. Why is it warping on me? I hate it. Any deformation we're going to get is basically, if we stack it like that, it messes that one up. I've got because I've got pace with there by the looks of it. Yep. See? Okay. That makes a full ring, basically, like that. If you do it the other way around, which we're going to do now. I'm trying to get the right one. The problem is I'm having trouble recreating the um, original piece, which I had, um, prior to uh, getting this, and I screwed it up on the other claim. This was the original piece I had. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to grab... I'll go and grab this one here. That will fit. All right. I'm 
Shum lined up. Looks like it. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is cool looking. And with this shape space, I could take this now and I could go like this. Grab this. Now, the possibilities for that right there are... are I can see that in sci-fi. I can see that in, um, you know, putting a fan underneath of it. You know, like an intake or something. Whoa. That's pretty cool looking. All right. Let's come see over here. here. Stuff like this. Timo, come over here and look at this. Yeah. Hold, hold, hold a second. Yeah, get. I have to rewatch this. <laughs> get, get me some some flight perms here, cause I, I I got something that I need to. Let's see here. You should have flight ah. perms now on that claim. There we go. Okay. So, I mean, as an example of what I was talking about here, if you took the fan and get this thing halfway centered here. I, mean, I could see this as part of like a sci-fi prop or uh, something in like an industrial type building of some sort. And definitely I know what I'm talking about here. I mean... Yep, that looks like a fan grate to me. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. I mean, the uses for that, you could use it for all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, when I first saw that, I looked like the fan on the back of my computer. Yeah, I mean... I like it. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Now, let's come over here. And he's, he's doing multiple stacks on this thing right here now. And you can see how the design pattern is actually uh, formulating in this and he's looks what are you doing pasting different versions in here or what are you doing yeah different different things basically if you look at this this is designed over here this pillar here is designed with different um, stacking techniques okay come here and look at this over here Emma uh, let me find you oh yeah that's really interesting. That would be a really neat like inlay of some sort. You can basically come into this now. I can go into that now and modify it even more by taking just different sizes and pasting it in different variations. If I go over here and uh, beat certain pieces off of it, I'm going to grab the set I've got upstairs. Okay. Now, as I'm looking at this thing, we what we need to know is what, or is to walk us through the actual steps of making one of these things, and then just kind of just to get it out there to people so that they can play around with it. That would be awesome. I'll use this fifteen here. Basically, this 15 where I am over here. Uh, where are you at? Are you up top? Um, no, I'm at the bottom. I'm at the bottom, Gemma. I'm behind you. Turn, 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 turn. Right, you take basically. <laughs> Wait and stop, please. I see, I see Varnella, but I don't see Yarnella. I'm turn, 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 turn to you. There, there, look at me. Look at me. Hello, hello, hello. Does anybody see else me? see him? Okay, there he is. Okay. Yeah, he's right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the kids. Depending right. on the sizing you want to go for, I've only tried three sizes, and these are actually experimental ones over here. Okay. So we'll go with the 15. You make a 15 block. Okay. 
you raise it and then drop it down two or so. So you've got space on the sides of the uh, block itself. There's the uh, circle you cut out. Okay. Because if I went in here now. You cut out. If you're still talking, we can't hear you. I'm not talking, I'm not talking. Okay. Take out this PC, which I haven't got completely. It kind of messes it up, so you need a space of one voxel around the whole entire thing. So I'll grab it like this. Okay. He's come to you by one. Oh, whoops. User disconnected from your channel. Elburst is doing a bank heist. That looks good. Thank See you. the shape it's already got when you copy it out. It's got the four corner pieces, the four, the four um, triangular pieces already set in there. And what you do is you basically just do exactly the same as we do with the Shatari rings, and then it shapes out this piece here. Okay. And that's just the and piece then, you copy. You don't need the rest just, of it. You don't need the rest of it. You can take it. Okay. And then you can just modify it how you how you wish. So if you want to make like um, some corner pieces with uh, spikes on it, all uh -huh. you do is I'm going to grab a different texture. That's stupid. I can then go in here yeah, it kind of deforms those uh the inside pieces there. you notice that deformation with the edge triangular piece yeah, I think you would probably have to copy those voxels out individually, then delete them and then paste them back in uh to clean that up, but yeah. See if you was. copy the same section down, you get them cleaner. I'm trying. Yep. This is a 11 by 11, so I'll take an 11 block. Ooh. The possibilities <clears throat> of this are just basically endless. You can make <laughs> really cool designed pillars with these. And uh, if you look on top, Tim, in a minute, when I've finish doing this you can see all the uh, design pieces I've got going up there mm -hmm. Wow and that's in deletion mode deletion mode basically so you can delete out like you know certain areas or oh one step too many this is paste with interior air This is the uh, pace with there. At the moment, it deforms the center as well. Mm -hmm. But you can make cool stuff with those shapes in the center. I actually took them and made a crab. <laughs> I'm not of course you did. It's, it's, I did. It's up here. Come up here, Temma. Show everybody the crab. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> <clears throat> I did already see it. You can see all the different. I'm just gonna scan over and show everybody all this stuff that you've made using this. And uh... now we should actually redo the spider os starter template with those one voxeltic arches with this technique. Thing that uh, Metallical found out is this piece over here. It's actually two voxels. These Me flat panels are made out of two voxels. Now this right here was what you showed me last night, and I would thought it was freaking awesome. Um, take a good look at this one piece right here. The amount of time that it would have would take you to make that work is a lot of time. Okay, if you were trying to do mm -hmm. it manually, and 
he was able to do this in like a couple fra- of seconds, <laughs> a, a fraction of the time because he had this, this set that he had already made. He pasted one right on top of the other, and boom, it was cleanly placed with a one voxel gap all the way around this thing. That was like, what? You know, it totally blew me away when he did this. I was like, are you kidding me? So, um, the things that he has been able to do with this has been pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, look at look at some of this design work that he's done here, and it, it takes a fraction of the amount of time that it would take to do it um, the other way. In other words, hands on, trying to make each little piece freaking uh, work correctly. That is a uh, pretty cool. Got a little bit. He was going to show you a crap, Temna. If you look over here, for instance, Temna, this uh, this piece here with the pillars on the side is exactly the same technique I'm using downstairs. The addition I do is I add a deletion on every corner mm -hmm. of the a smaller circle on every um, corner piece, and then just take that whole thing and uh, cut out my uh, pillar the way I want it, and it comes out like this. Okay, so you could actually do that uh, circle deletion in multiple places yep. to do stuff that looks like this. That's pretty interesting. I want to get my hands on it, uh, and that way everybody can actually see how to do the technique itself. So let me get back down here. Well, Albert's... It's uh, asking a question in, in a Twitch chat. Okay. Question of the day. If it's a private claim, can I still copy things from that claim with the tool, or would I have to build things from scratch to match whatever I wanted? It depends on the um, permissions that have been set to the claim. Um, mm -hmm. You can actually set claim permissions inside of your claim management window by hitting the U key. Um, inside of here you have to go to that individual claim and then hit security and then you have this uh, public security levels and you have all these different ones that can do different stuff if I set it to copy only you can copy but you cannot put things down if you have builder you can copy and you can put things down the other ones eh, nobody ever uses them anyway all right so let's uh I'm gonna I'm gonna make me a little platform here just so it come over here, Tim. Doesn't so get too uh, crazy. Between the door, between the door, come between here. You can just spend your space here for you to build. Okay, cool. So uh, let's get back to this technique here. If we take a um, let's do a I'm gonna do something a little big just so it'll be more visible on the screen here. Let's go to like a 25 by 25. And let's make this out of something that's bright. Or eh, let's go with that one. So we have a big, big square. And that streak is bugging me, so it's gone. Okay. So basically, we're going to make a cube. And then I'm going to go to my add tool. Hit C to go to my circle tool. And I'm going to bring this up to the size that I'm looking for, which 25 is the size of what I was doing the whole thing for. Bring this down by two voxels. Hit Control. Click. After I've got it centered. Actually, I'm on Add Tool, aren't I? There we go. Let me get this thing lined back up. There we go. 25. I'm gonna bring this all the way up until the bottom touches, just like this. Bring it down two voxels. Hit check. So now I have this. I'm going to select everything with a one voxel overhang on each side. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. 
and I come up with something that looks a pretty nasty right here but we're going to paste drop it down by one and I think I'm going to do a deletion paste just so it looks clean when I'm done so I get something that looks like this so now I'm going to make another one and this time I'm going to make one that is let's go down to like a 21 by 21 fill that in go to deletion mode bring it down to 21 on my size of my sphere go into my tweak mode which is holding control and clicking and I'm gonna bring this all the way up to the bottom touches bring it down to hit check select the whole thing except for the one voxel all the way around copy paste put it in the air click actually I think I grabbed one extra voxel worth it comes out as a square so I know I didn't grab it correctly let's uh, bring it down copy <laughs> paste that looks better it looks funky so I know it's right all right, so click once, bring now it down. Now you want those jankies. <laughs> bring it down by one, hit F, press F and click again. So now I have two different ones and now I can take the different pieces. Oops, shrink it down here. There we go. I can copy this one, paste. and the various different things you see how clean that come out this is what he showed me yesterday and this is basically what I'm reiterating <laughs> so but look how clean that came out <laughs> that is insane and normally you get all kinds of funkiness when you're trying to make little curved steps like that on a single voxel stepping Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't do that with this. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, now it's beautiful stuff, isn't it? <laughs> I know, right? Now I'm gonna back this out because I don't want to ruin my original. Warren and... wants to know if you can look at it from underneath. She wants yeah, to oh, see the interior that's, bevel. That's as clean as you would expect it to be. It has a curve right here on the inside, or a little bevel to it here, but it's flat on the top piece that I put in. <laughs> But it is, I mean, I could feel that. I could feel depending that whole on, thing up with something. Depending on the way you paste, it comes out with different possibilities. Yeah. Now, let me... Because now it creates an angle from the inside, and that's completely normal and usable, too. Now, if I paste on the inside, and I'm pasting without air, right here, no interior air and no remove voxels. That's how I paste in here. But you can see this this curve on the inside, and all this is nice and clean. And I mean, I can get my thicknesses different sizes. You know. If you look at this Timmy, you can actually just go and grab that corner piece. Mm-hmm. And so what oh, we're now, if I take the time and the patience, I can come in here. And I can pull out those individual pieces. Like I said, if I take my time and patience. Mm -hmm. That is the key. Yeah, you took yes. those, that is those the flat voxels too, and that's yeah. the thing you want to have. You know, if I if I took the original curve that we made here, and instead of and actually pull out each individual section all the way across here take the center section out, mm -hmm. I paste that up, and get rid of these, these big bulky corners, I can make these round circles that are super thin, just like this one. No, they're really thin. And they're even thinner than the starter templates when you place two, with, two together. Screw it. I'm going to do it. Just because. We're on the Why show, not? and we can do it. 
So, let me get... <laughs> we got 35 minutes. And hopefully, if I can get my... Here's a quick example over here as well about the um, circular bit what I was doing, talking about. Huh. You can see, I could pull that curvature out of the corner. Now, let me... Yeah, I gotta get this thing kind of right here. Copy this. I get there's one. A quicker way, there's a quicker way of doing this, Tim. I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> but you if just I delete the delete the corners out, but make sure you copy just the corner piece. But if I get that in there. And now there's, I've only got one piece, there's only one piece that's missing, so you need to just copy that one piece, and then you've got the whole thing. Yeah, you right. copy that one corner, and then just exactly it and paste it. Exactly. Hey, come on, you're promoting that all the time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but now, if I did this to both pieces, not only this one, but the other one that's over there. And then put the two together, just like we just did a moments ago. You have a super thin circle that you cannot make anywhere else. You you get what I'm saying, right? That's magical. Mm -hmm. there. Right. Okay. Now, so if I took this corner, just the inside, copy. just the uh, just no, just uh, just a little bit. Well, I'm I'm duplicating it because I don't want to lose my original. All right. So if I take this, copy, paste, drop, delete. Copy. They're asking in chat, why can't you just select the corner protrusions and negative paste them? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What it, what I'm back not working. The switch is behind. Eh? What, what switch happens is behind, basically? He's so. not working on all the sizes. <laughs> what basically uh, yeah, happens is it cuts out one piece of the um, corner piece out, so you have to copy that singular voxel or those two voxels, depending on the size you've got. Oh yeah. Make sure you have a copy of that. You can do that. You can basically just delete the uh, corner pieces out and just stick in that one voxel. Perfect. I'm trying to get this thing lined up and. Yep, there we go. But I'm going to and take the who? No, go on. All right, so I've got the big one now, and I've got the small one. I can take this one now. Let's just grab this whole thing. Copy. And I'm going to try to set this in. To the center. Wow. So I don't think I've got it centered here or something. Do I have it centered? Yeah, it's centered. It's kind of weird because it worked perfectly while ago, but over here it's not working. It's only on those little pieces. Ah, I'm sad. Cause that would have been awesome to have complete circles that were like less than a voxel thick there almost. Why don't we try something to fly? It's just gonna pull. It's gonna double pull back into the other side. See? Yeah. So that doesn't work. Oh, that's sad. I'm depressed now, but still, that is still an awesome <laughs> idea. Well, it could make you more depressed. Well, always. They're picking on you in chat. They're always picking on me in chat. <laughs> and they're saying, why wouldn't you just do something? And Kareem just put the nail in it and said, because it's Tenma. <laughs> it's Tenma. <laughs> <laughs> well, that kind of answers it all. But, okay, yeah. let's let's back out of this. And... Oh, yeah, I what they're saying, too, in, in Metallica is saying, paste the big one around the small one maybe that helps it would just do the opposite though because you're the two voxel spaces are like here and here so if we 
pool one, this one's going to go in. Where if we get rid of this one, this one's going to go in like this. So you're, you're basically doing this in between those two voxel spaces. It's working on the outside edges because we're working with two separate areas that are like this. And you're only working in a single voxel space. Um, so it works correctly. It, it does this with it. Because you're pulling between the two set two sections, uh, where those corners aren't quite doing that. So that's Isn't why. Another piece that came out of the fan piece, Timmer, over mm -hmm. here. <clears throat> yeah. Those are angled. Hold on a second. Those are paper airplanes. Devlin, where did Devlin go? <laughs> paper airplanes. Look at that. Never mind. Devlin would have <laughs> freaked over that. <laughs> they do look like them. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It looks like paper airplanes. But, okay, to get that fan piece, I'm going to give you an idea here. If you take, like, one side, we delete that off. We take this side here, copy, paste, delete. You get the point right here on this edge. <clears throat> and that's kind of what we're going to be after uh, for this part of it. So I'm going to copy this corner. I'm not worried about destroying it now because I think we've kind of went over the process. I'm going to paste it with air this time because I want to re redo the corners. And mirror. And as y'all know, I normally do a lot of manual work, you know, when I'm doing my builds and stuff because, you know, uh, I try to make things as as easy as possible for a new builder could care less about the, the guys that have been around a while and that's normally why I do things a little differently than what a lot of other people do um, okay so I think we're in there now let me see and I think this was was this paste with air or paste uh, when I think you did paste with air Okay, well, that didn't work. Hold up. I know what it was. You had a one that was the size of the opening that you made, and that's why it's working uh, for the other fan piece. Yeah. That's why it's different. That's a pretty piece you just made. Yeah, yep. that, that was I mean, pretty you, interesting. You can take, you can take that it. piece. If you take that piece now, we're going to grab this and just... Uh, Go and plant it. How big is that? That's uh, 15 by 15. Yeah. Now let this do. I mean, it screws up the uh, top part. I don't know. Don't know why it's doing that. That I can't tell you. But you can make some really intricate, like, intake valves and stuff like that with this, too. Uh, especially with sci-fi stuff. This would work really good for sci-fi stuff. I think Shatari will love this. And I was also thinking on the ogre builds, those pillars. Uh, yeah, but they... Okay, when you're doing the competition builds, uh, normally they want walls to be, you know, two to three voxel thick because of LOD um, uh -huh. so yeah I don't know if this would work too well for the uh, for the ogre stuff though not unless you're using Killer. instead of you know this over here definitely you know stuff that's like really thick and round and round type stuff like this but look at that round and round stuff he's got here <laughs> 
I mean, from a distance off to the side, that is pretty intricate. I mean, those uh, it's like the the corners meet up perfectly with each other, and it doesn't deform the other piece, which is pretty wicked. The thing is about these rings as well, which I'm going to show you up here, Temma. If you come up to the top to where that pillar is, mm -hmm. I'll show you something really cool now. Okay. I think it's this one I need. If I take this big piece... That's what, that's what she said. Look at this here. Oh, I'm on the top, I'm on the top. <laughs> and I paste this. Ah, it doesn't pull the voxels towards it. Oh wow, check that out guys. A ring around another ring with about a one single voxel thick gap in there. That is interesting. Look at that right there. That's just a normal paste. No paste with air or paste with interior air. Just a plain old paste so on that. It won't deform. It won't deform. <laughs> wow. So... <laughs> Bioexile. He called it. God's insane. He called it. Nobody else called it. At least Bio called it. Y'all suck. <laughs> Y'all didn't catch me saying it. Okay. Alright. Well, that is pretty awesome. Pretty freaking awesome. We've got a snowflake up here as well. All the different stuff that he's made uh, using this so far. Pretty cool stuff. Definitely something to, to check out for sure. Um, seeing what you guys can do with it. Um, it definitely solves a lot of that uh, stepping problem like this right here. Normally this right here would be a pain in the butt to do. This sort of thing. Uh, which this is awesome for like a bottom of a pillar or something like that now if you made something that was massively huge you could use this for steps you know mm -hmm. and um, you know get bigger steppings and, and stuff like that so um, it's so cool it's, <laughs> it's really cool it's another it's a step up um, I really wish Shatari was here so he could see this and uh, I'll have to post this to YouTube so you guys can uh, uh, go back over it and see what it was that we actually did. <laughs> see what you guys come that up looks with like an Oreo cookie. cookie. Yep, that's the that's the that's the famous Oreo cookie from the world famous builders. Yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, right yep. next to it is the first first official first official pulley wheel. First official pulley wheel. Yep. All right. <laughs> These little stars you got over here look pretty cool too. Yeah, those are all made from these. It's what what came out of the um, me placing different variations on top of the um, one another. The star pieces are made from the corners basically. Just took the corner piece and stuck them together. I mean, this is really cool as well for sci-fi. These two pieces here. Mm -hmm. These make um, these would make amazing pillars and stuff like that. Well, the sci-fi builders. Definitely awesome job, dude. Awesome work. 